Hey, you guys, welcome back for week two, day three of the yoga challenge with me, Erin Motz. Today, we're focusing on the lower half of the body. So the legs, the hips, the lower back, strengthening those areas with some traditional kind of more classic uh, yoga flows. So when you're ready, meet me at the top of your mat and we'll go ahead and get started. You're gonna start standing right in the center of your mat and just go ahead and take the feet wide, wider than the shoulders, but keep the toes turned in for now. As you breathe in, take the left hand and reach it down the left leg and just stretch the right arm straight up. So I don't want you to bend as far as you can bend. It's just enough to get some lengthening through the right side. So maybe look up if you can, spin the chest around toward the sky. And then come back up, take the right arm down the right leg, breathe in, pick the left arm straight up, and just spin the chest around, lift through the left side. And come back to the center, pick both arms up, take the palms to the heart center. Turn to the top of your mat. We're just gonna take two rounds of a sun salutation. So inhale, pick the arms up, press the hands together. Exhale, fold forward, relax the upper body down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, step the feet back to a plank. We'll drop the knees for the first one. Exhale, slowly lower down halfway. Lay the chest flat, roll the shoulders back, find cobra, so you're just lifting the chest, kicking into the feet, keeping the hands down. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here, pedaling out the feet just a bit. And keep the head and the neck relaxed. And take one more breath in. And then looking forward, step the feet behind the hands. Take a forward fold. And breathing in, pick the arms way up. Press the hands together. Exhale, fold forward. Straight into the next one. Same thing. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold. Breathe in. Step back to plank. You can always drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, lift the chest for cobra or full up dog. Exhale, sit it back, downward facing dog. Take one or two breaths here. Again, moving around if you feel like that helps you at all. And then finding some stillness, look forward. Step the right foot between the hands, turn back towards the front so that similarly to how we, how we began, I want you to bend the knees so that the knees would track over the toes. So in this case, you want the toes to be turned out slightly and the hips to drop straight down. Whoa, lost my balance already. Take the hands to the heart center, let the shoulders drop back and lift through the chest. So see if you can sit the hips down pretty low. And imagine that you're trying to slide both ends of your mat right in toward the center. So you're really kicking out through the heels, keeping the legs engaged. Now on your next inhale, straighten out the legs. Turn the right toes totally to the right side of your mat. You may want to back up a little bit so you've got some space. Right toes face forward. Put a little bit of bend in the right knee. Take the right fingertips down and kick the left leg up so that it moves straight back for half moon reach through the left hand, maybe spin the chest around toward the sky. You can look any direction that feels comfortable. And if you wobble a little bit, that's totally okay. And take one more breath in. Keep the left leg lifted, but on the exhale, take the left hand down. Square the hips off to face the front of your mat. Take one more inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, step the left foot down underneath the hip, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, bend the knees, press the hands together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, step the left leg back, but I want you to take the knee down. So make sure that both knees are bent at 90 degrees. So kind of shift your hips back so your hips are right over the left knee and the right knee is or the right foot is down and the knee is bent as well. You can take the hands to the heart center. And I want you to scoop the pelvis forward. So think of really tucking the tailbone towards the right heel, lift through the chest. So you should feel a stretch in that left leg. Keep tucking, keep pulling the lower belly in. 
On your next inhale, keep the left toes tucked. And breathe in and come all the way up to a crescent lunge. So you may want to walk the feet a little bit further apart. Inhale fully. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Push off the ball of the left foot and come into warrior three. So pushing off the left foot, keep the hips square, keep the chest facing down. Put a slight bend in the right knee if that helps you balance. Reach through the crown of the head, pull the belly back. If you need to touch the left toes down, that's fine. And take one more breath in. Exhale, exhale, step the left foot back. Bend both knees to 90 degrees, but don't let the left leg touch, don't let the left knee touch the floor. Take one more inhale. Exhale, push off the left foot, find warrior three again. If you wanna take the arms out to the sides, you can. If you wanna reach them out overhead, you can do that too. So whatever works. Take one more breath in. Exhale, step the left foot down, 90 degrees in both legs, but don't let the left knee touch the floor. Inhale fully, take one more breath out and hold. On your next inhale, push off the left foot, but tuck the knee in toward the chest. Hold. Exhale, step it down under the hips. Inhale, pick the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, step the feet back to plank, lower down between the elbows. Come to cobra or up dog. Sit it back, downward facing. Look to the top of your mat, step the right foot between the hands, spin open towards the front. Back to where we started a minute ago, bend the knees deeply so the feet are kind of facing the corners of your mat. Bring the hands to the heart center, sit the hips down. Find one point to focus on. Remember to really kick out through the heels so that the legs stay engaged. Sit a little bit lower. And then inhale, straighten out the legs. You're gonna turn the left toes totally toward the left side of your mat. Maybe back up just a bit. <laughs> Lean into the left fingertips. Find half moon. So kick the right heel out. Keep a slight bend in the left knee and extend the right arm up. Flex through the right foot. Spin the left ribs around towards the sky. Take one more breath in. And exhale, take the right hand down, square the hips off. Reach through the right foot, inhale fully. Exhale, step the right foot down, find a forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right leg back, but drop the knee down. So both knees are gonna bend to 90 degrees. So make sure that you sit back and your hip is right over the right knee. Left knee is still bent at 90 degrees. Hands to the heart. Pull the lower belly in, scoop the pelvis forward. So you kind of point the tailbone towards that left heel. You'll feel a pretty good stretch through the right hip and the quads. Relax the shoulders. And take one more breath in, tuck the back toes, and as you breathe out, kind of push off the right leg, adjust the feet if you need to, take a nice wide crescent lunge. Maybe picking the arms up if that feels good. On your next breath out, start to press off the ball of the right foot and find, uh, find warrior three. So right toes face down, put a soft bend in the left knee, reach through the crown of the head, pull the belly back. Inhale, exhale, step the right foot back, 90 degrees in both legs, lift the chest. Inhale fully, exhale, sit low. Start to press off the ball of the right foot again, find warrior three, one more time. Reach the crown of the head forward, reach through the right toes. Take one more breath in and out, but hold here. On your next breath in, pull the right knee in toward the chest, inhale. Exhale the right foot down. Breathe in, pick the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, step back to a plank. Take one inhale here and exhale, lower down. Lift the chest for cobra or up dog. Sit it back, downward facing. Look to the top of your mat. Go ahead and shift your weight forward. Come down to the knees. Face me. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop open. So walk the heels in close to the hips. If this is too much, you can always keep the feet further away from you. Let the knees drop down so the hips are relaxed. Lift through the chest. And on your exhale, just kind of roll the chest forward a little bit. Even if you can't get that far, if you'd rather stay upright, that's fine too. And if you want a little bit more, you can take your hands to your knees and just let the weight of the upper body press the legs down a bit further. Breathe in, lift the chest, cross the legs comfortably, however it feels good to you. Let the shoulders sit back, lift through the crown of the head. So letting the eyes close if you haven't already. And just keep the shoulders relaxed. Letting the breath sink into a natural rhythm. And continue lengthening through the back of the neck, slightly lifting the chest. And maintaining this posture, take a big breath in, but pick the arms up overhead. Press the hands together and exhale them right down to the heart center, sealing in your practice. Let the eyes blink open. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed that one. For more yoga and other fun stuff, check out erinmotz.com and I'll see you right back here tomorrow.